Is a preliminary agreement to enter into a contract ever binding? We explore that question in Main Street Baseball versus Binghamton Mets Baseball Club. Main Street Baseball wanted to buy the Binghamton Mets, a minor league baseball team, from the Binghamton Mets Baseball Club. After lengthy negotiations, Main Street and Binghamton executed a Letter of Intent, or LOI, which provided that Main Street would purchase the team for $8.5 million. The LOI further provided for the negotiation and execution of an asset purchase agreement. It also imposed a no-shopping period, during which Binghamton couldn't negotiate with other buyers. Main Street made a down payment. However, the parties couldn't agree on an asset purchase agreement during the no-shopping period. Binghamton entered into an LOI with another buyer. Main Street sued Binghamton for breach of contract and moved for a preliminary injunction in joining Binghamton from negotiating with or selling the team to another buyer. Main Street argued that the LOI was a binding agreement and that Binghamton had breached it.